Afternoon all, I'm going to go through a quick run through of my pedal board and show you the signal chain that I use. Um, go through the front of the amp section and as well as all the effects I've chose to run in the effects loop at this moment in time. Um, we've got a lot to get through so uh, let's uh, cut the talk in and get straight to it. First of all I come from the guitar, I go into the Boss TU tuner, um, add that for as long as I can remember, never let me down, great tuner, does what it does. From there we go into the Wah Wah pedal, it's just a basic original crybaby Dunlop Wah Wah, great sounding pedal, add it again years and years and years, uh, never let me down yet. From there we go up to the top into the Wampler Ego Compressor. Now this is a great compressor and if you've never had a compressor I recommend you go and try an half decent compressor to use. Um, if you already have one I do strongly recommend one of these ones. I had a Marshall compressor on there before this one and this is fantastic. Um, and I think it's one of the best pedals I've ever bought So uh, in recent years for uh, my pedal board. From there we go into the custom audio electronics line boost driver. This pedal is always always on um, and I use it to drive my guitar signal through my pedal board um, so I'm basically using it as a, a buffer if you will so I don't so I get, regain some of the high end loss at the end of the pedal chain uh, into my amp. From there we go all the way from the uh, line boost driver all the way down into my MXR custom badass overdrive um, new edition I've only had it about 12 months or so just over um, love, it, love this pedal nice clean overdrive sounding pedal um, lots of versatility I have done a demo with this on my um, on my profile as well so you can scroll back and check that out from there into the MXR 78 distortion this is a great great pedal um, again done a couple of demos on it before and uh, a few of you guys have got some as well so that's um, you know you can go on there check it out sounding good versatile pedal as well um, from there into one of my newer pedals I've only had these a couple of months uh, little big muff from Electro Harmonics I love this pedal it's a great great addition to have uh, sort of dirty fuzzness fantastic and I love it from there we go into the Mooga Fuga from Moog, uh, the ring modulator. Great to get some weird effects in the studio and just create some crazy havoc on stage when you're playing live. Great versatile pedal, um, low sort of swirling tremolo sounds, fast rate tremolo sounds, then into the craziness that is sort of Doctor Who Dalek voice tones. You can get some craziness out of that pedal. Um, too much to explain in this sort of video what it does but again I have done some sound clips using it so you can have a listen to those ones from there into the Digitech Whammy pedal fantastic pedal I love this pedal one of my, my favourite favourite pedals on my pedal board um, I got it well, about 12 years ago when I was like really getting into Rouse the Ensign Machine and Tom Morello this pedal does all that stuff um, and then anything that you want it to do it can do as well and you just need a bit of a get some imagination going get the effects going and create some crazy crazy sounds and that'll do you fantastic from there it goes all the way around into my line 6 microamp um, just use that for boosting solos or any extra bits I want to be a bit louder in the mix when I'm playing or doing whatever I want um, and then from there depending how I'm wiring my pedal board it goes then straight to my amp if I wire my pedal board a bit differently it will go to this junction box at the top if I'm going to run and uh, if I go anywhere where the amp hasn't got a effects loop I can run everything into the front of the amp without any complicated rewiring I'll just swap round a couple of leads on there done dusted and then it goes straight from there everything goes into the front of the amp so that covers these, the main gain stages of the pedal board and a few bits I've done 
that you wouldn't necessarily always plug in the front end of the amp but hey if it sounds good it's good um, in the effects loop basically we come out of the back of the amp in the, out the send into the junction box at the top here um, and then it gets sent from there into my super vibe chorus from Marshall great chorus not really a big chorus guy but I have used it on a couple of songs and just to thicken up um, rhythm parts and things like that good sounding pedal um, and uh, yeah no complaints with it really um, here into that then we go into the boss phase shifter it's a great great sounding pedal um, again I got this when I got my whammy pedal um, getting all that sort of resonance machine stuff going on I actually don't like it in the effects loop I actually prefer it in the front end of the amp um, and for some strange reason now um, when I've done it this way I get a volume boost when I use it so uh, it will be changing around soon and going into the front end of the amp for some reason I've never got a volume boost when it was there but now I get it um, and I think it probably actually sounds a little bit better in the front end of the amp than it does in the loop um, from there into the flanger uh, BF2 old style flanger unit I've had that again 12-15 years and it's got a knob missing on it um, when I used to have the pedal board on a big planker board rather than in a proper case things happen um, from there into the Boss Tremolo TR2 good sounding pedal no problems with it as well um, so the usual great sounding tremolo sounds fantastic love it um, then from the tremolo I go into my Strymon timeline delay now this pedal is a beast of a pedal it's fantastic the amount of things you can get out of it is unbelievable and it's very in depth and some people say it's a complicated pedal to use I don't think it's complicated you choose your delay, set it up, store it, jobs are good and you can use it with MIDI, use it in stereo, do whatever you want with it, it's fantastic. And that also then, some of you might be thinking why have I missed out my volume pedal, I'm actually not using it as a volume pedal, I'm actually using it as an expression pedal to control the mix or the um, repeats or time values on here depending on what preset I've got so I can change things up when I'm playing live or whatever I want to do so I can add delay in, add delay out and do whatever whatever I need to to enhance anything um, from there into my Strowman Blue Sky reverb pedal great lush reverbs um, fantastic it's only a basic sort of reverb pedal um, with plate room and spring and then a bit of modulation if you want it but the sounds out of it is absolutely fantastic um, and it's better than what's on my amp at the moment so hey and I, I think that's one of the best pedals I've bought in recent times next to my compressor and then from there it goes back into the junction box at the top into the patch bay and then that goes all the way back into the back of my effects loop of my amp um, everything is all powered almost <laughs> by the little black box at the top here by my compressor um, all those basically everything on there is pedals is all powered the only thing that isn't pedaled powered by that power supply is the whammy pedal just because it's a different barrel size and a different uh, it's positive rather than negative centered and the Mooga figure isn't powered by that just because it's an analog pedal and I get six ton of noise come through the rest of the pedal chain um, if I pair it via that so that's on its power source but then again everything then is all powered off that one unit so it's all compact all nice and neat and uh, that's it for this I will do some sound clips I have done some sound clips before anyway but I'll do some videos if there's anything you guys want to hear or want me to do anything of that you maybe want to try out or you haven't got or whatever just give me a shout leave me a comment and I'll get those done for you thanks